The latest numbers for sit and lie citations and bookings in 2019 are from mid-February to the end of March. We learned in those two months, Spokane Police made a total of 23 citations and bookings. Looking back at the same time frame of mid-February to the end of March in previous years, there were about 20 reported in 2018. Officer John O'Brien says police have not made any changes to how it enforces the ordinance since it resumed on February 8th. Since the suspension of the ordinance has been lifted, downtown patrolmen are doing the exact same thing they did last year and they will continue to enforce it as needed. The majority of the recorded arrests are citations or releases. O'Brien says that means officers aren't taking these individuals to jail. Instead, they're citing them with a referral to community court. The goal of this cite and release is to get folks guided towards the community court where they have one-stop shopping for all of the resources that are available that they might need. I don't feel like we should be discriminatory towards people who are houseless right now. Um, sure, maybe we'll get, we're getting them into services they need, but uh, we have an outreach team for that. City Council Member Kate Burke participated in protests outside City Hall against the sit and lie ordinance. She says these are enforcement numbers the city shouldn't even be concerned about as she'd like to see the ordinance repealed altogether. The sit and lie ordinance is, uh, is an attack on people in poverty. It's a, dis it's a discriminatory law. She believes the number of sit and lie citations and bookings may be up because business owners are reporting to police more often. We do see our business community getting more and more irritated about seeing homeless people on the street. Uh, so maybe that's acting as they're calling more into the officers. They're relying on them more. She says this is a topic the community should still be discussing to find the best solution for those impacted by the ordinance. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.